Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you should definitely subscribe. Um, click that button down below. I post new videos all the time and things are about to get, <laughs> things are about to get very exciting around here because we are gearing up for the move to Boston on Thursday. It's currently Monday. I'll update you guys kind of as we're driving, but um, what did you want to say? Well, I have no makeup on, so it's a little weird and I just have to address that why I don't wear makeup sometimes because I wear so much makeup when I'm at QVC that I, the days that I'm home, I, I, I literally don't want to put anything on my face. I was just wearing no makeup, but I felt so ugly, so I put on it's, I know. It's yeah, CC but cream, but you yes. Agree. But I have Thank zero you. makeup on, so don't no, you know, but you be a hater. No, you have beautiful skin. I know, but that's why I don't, I don't want them to think I'm like extreme. It's like, oh, there she is with okay, the Okay, but you, know you what I mean? literally look beautiful. Okay, so. but I'm gonna drive while you um, talk. I vlog. Oh. Yes, put on your seatbelt, please. Okay. Oh, I'm using your bag. Buckle up for safety. Okay. I have a lot to catch up, you guys, on. So, uh, I just got back from Greece with um, Danielle and EF Ultimate Break. It was... I feel bad saying it to my parents. But Life like, changing. No, I I think I want to say best vacation ever, but I don't want to insult you guys. And it's be not like, an insult. Okay. Because I feel like that's insulting like all the vacations I've previously oh. taken in my life. But um, absolutely insane. It was less of a vacation and more of a trip, I will say, though. Because when I, I, I say vacation, I mean like... I'm on a beach relaxing, even though I'm not a big beach out, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm yeah, like you don't have to worry about the time, you don't have to worry about where you yes. have to be. That's a vacation. Yes, this was a trip. We'll just right. call it that. Um, but it was a great one. Literally best ever. I cannot recommend it enough. I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video addressing because a lot of people have questions on solo travel, like group travel, like doing EF. Do you know that, yeah, you know so. what I saw on, um, you know, my favorite TV show in the morning, but uh, I guess solo travel is becoming a thing. Yeah, people Did do you it. No, 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 but it's becoming like... Like a big thing. Yeah, like it's like, oh, you're cool when you go away by yourself. I want to do that. I, just, I told Daniel, I said my next trip, I well, maybe my next trip to Europe, it's either going to be, I'm manifesting, and it's either going to be with boyfriend slash lover or solo. Those are the next two nice. options. So. Okay. Either way, I'm... Good. I mean, I don't like the idea of you going alone. I'm not going to lie. I and that was part of like the whole, I know, I know. you know, thing about like, yeah, but then you worry about the person. Solo travel is becoming so popular that that people that are married with children are opting to oh, solo that's, travel. That's, that's a little wild. Age. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a thing. Wow. Okay. Well, I know that people in their 20s do it because it's like you can do that. But anyways, um... So currently, we are en route to. I don't even know where we're, we're going. We're gonna go to Home Sense home. and Home Goods, but I listen. Big fan. Home Sense first and foremost. You got to go there first. It's better than Home Goods because we are shopping for my apartment, which um, I'm probably gonna announce it in a bunch of different videos just because I did it in my apartment hunt video. I said that I'm living in a studio and things have changed. Um, I am now living in a one bedroom. There was a whole lot of things that like went into it, but also the price was right. So it just like happened to work out really well. So I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, how could you not be? I haven't physically gotten into the place. My dad actually did go though. Yes. So he went up to Boston and moved up a load of my stuff um, and moved in and did the whole bit. So. And then did you hear the plan for what he's going to do? Like how he's, because he's not going to get a truck. Did he tell you what he's going to do? No. He's actually going to. I literally just got home yesterday, you guys. So this, yeah. And like, we, you're I probably just, like, why does she I know, know. I'm so out of the loop. I just I got home yesterday and then Danielle was here and then we podcasted this morning. I dropped her off at the airport and now it's like the evening time. So I have been like. Yes, yeah, so we didn't have time to yes. like really even talk. We didn't even really talk. So the plan is that Daddy will come up on Saturday. We'll of course already be up there, which I'm okay. sure you'll talk about. But he's going to come up with his truck and a trailer, like one of those box oh, trailers okay. filled up with stuff. And then this okay. way he can load up his truck. Because we have a lot of furniture at home still. Um, confirmed that the mattress will be shipped. Did you see I that? I saw it. And also the bed thing, which was good. Did you did you? Yeah, do I sent a second email and I was like, where is it? Yeah, good job. Um, all good. So, yeah, we're going to do some apartment shopping today, which is good. We have a lot of stuff already, which um, I could probably show you guys in this vlog. I'm going to try to link down below as much as I can because I know you guys really appreciate that, and especially a lot of you guys I know are moving into apartments too, which is so cool. I am trying to do this somewhat on a budget. No matter any way you do it, it's going to be expensive. Like, if you add up everything, you guys are going to be like, this is expensive, no doubt. But keep in mind, like, I'm sorry, this is my first place on my own, my first of everything right, you're not so. throwing away your stuff you, you do you need you need all new I, stuff. I have no like i don't have a kitchen table like i don't right. have 
chairs, couch, all of that stuff I don't have. Um, so rugs. Truly, rugs, yeah. Plural. So it's not even just the decor, because I feel like in college it was a lot of the decor, because I lived in a place that was furnished for two years, um, and then I was in a dorm, and then this past year I did all Ikea furniture, because I worked with Ikea for a video, which was like phenomenal, and I really love Ikea, but um, we're not doing that for this trip this trip for this move but I'm using all of my IKEA furniture in my bedroom your bedroom yeah. is basically done yeah I wish yeah. I could find your curtains but I can't seem to find them but so it's just the I'm assuming they're that. there well this has been a massive clip but so excited I hope you guys like these moving vlogs and a lot of people have been messaging me that they're like hyped for them and like excited to see the like first week of work vlog and all of that stuff so very exciting time and thank you guys for sticking with me Okay, so we're currently looking at my floor plan of my apartment because we feel like that will be helpful in the purchasing process. Yeah. So anyway, basically what's gonna, we need, because there's no hi-hats, we're gonna need a little bit more light. Lamps. So if you, right, coming from a lamp. So if you have the arch lamp here, it might not be a bad idea on one of, even Aunt Marie thought maybe even another table, aside from the, the little- whole family helping. You know? Yeah. Um, and then we, we could find it. So anyway, I think we should just look for a couple of lamps that you would might like the style cool so uh we're at home sense and there is plenty of lamps here so <laughs> let's do it up when you look around at this stuff like what fit, what's your fancy i like simple you know me i thought you would even like this but they're all chrome see there's a gold one haul time well not really too much just shower caddy some towels we got this like floor runner thing I say we, but I mean I. She bought it. She bought it. Let it be known. Well, obviously, it's my place. Gotta yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, that was my first time in a home sense, and I actually really liked it. It was cute. I, I mean, we didn't hit it like as much as the last time, which yeah. is kind of disappointing. And now we're going to Home Goods and then Costco to get my TV. Okay. Hey, you guys. I'm totally interrupting the middle of this video to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Lola. I've worked with Lola before. It's just a company that I 100% stand behind everything they do. I first heard about them on the Girls Gotta Eat podcast, which is my favorite podcast. So I was super drawn to them and like checking them out. And... <sighs> Well, let me tell you. It's a female-founded company offering a line of organic cotton pads, tampons, liners. They have a bunch of other stuff too, but I just have the tampons. I was literally just looking for the box all over my room. I was like, where's my tampon box? And it was sitting right there on the counter um, because the box is so freaking sleek. Like, tell me, this does not look like a tampon box. This literally just looks like a cute little aesthetic blue box that you'd have on your counter. But these are actually the compact tampons in here. I know like talking about tampons and stuff can be like super like weird to some people. I personally don't think it's weird at all because I think that it's really important to know what you're putting in your body. The major brands use like random mixes of ingredients with like rayon and polyester and stuff that you legit can't even pronounce. And I know I never thought about the ingredients in my tampons. I've never thought to question this. It's just kind of like what we're used to I feel like. We don't really think about it. We're like oh it's time to like put a tampon in but you're not like wait what's actually going into you know that part of my body right now. Because the FDA actually doesn't require brands to disclose a list of ingredients, but Lola said, we don't care. We want to tell the people what we're putting in our products. So literally on the back of the box, it says here, ingredients, 100% organic cotton tampon, BPA plastic, BPA free plastic applicator, no synthetic fibers, fragrance free, hypoallergenic. It's actually a subscription online and it's fully customizable, which is so nice so that you can be totally prepared in advance for that time of the month because I know mine in the past has come around and I'm super stressed. I'm like, damn, I have to deal with this right now and I don't have anything on hand. So Lola's great because you can keep yourself nice and stocked up. I'm in the process of switching. It definitely is a big lifestyle shift, but I think it's totally for the better to make the shift to use um, cotton organic tampons and all that stuff. Just, it's important to know what's going into your body. I think that that's a general theme of life. So, you know, if you can start with something as small as this, might as well go for it. And I have a deal for you guys, like usual. We love a good deal. For 40% off all of your subscriptions, visit mylola.com and enter the promo code BrookMichio when you subscribe. So I'll leave that all in a text box right here so you get it right. And I'll put in the description below uh, mylola.com, enter BrookMichio, get 40% off, and uh, definitely check out all the other products they have. They have like a really wide variety. I'm really interested in trying um, like their cleansing wipes and other stuff like that. I think that it would be really cool to try that next. So thank you, Lola, for sponsoring this video. And and now we will get back to whatever the heck I was talking about. All right, we just got this one. big boy. 
Hopefully people know, thank you. We don't know anything about this brand TCL, but I just looked up the reviews and they seem to be pretty decent. And now we're getting cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best cheese. We put it out at our family party and everyone was dying over it. And it has, um, it's pre-sliced. I know, which I cannot even believe I know. it's pre-sliced. I know what that meant. I miss it already. I miss it so much. I ate fat, I think, every day I was there. I can't live without it, so <laughs> it's so good. I guess we'll get this one. Yay. Hey guys, it's two days later now. I kind of just wanted to make this vlog like a shopping vlog and not just like a I'm at home doing nothing because I wanted to theme it around something, around moving and stuff like that. So I figured I would continue on that today. I've been a really, <laughs> I've been like going through my clips and stuff, even on my grease trip, I've been a really terrible vlogger recently. So I'm gonna work on actually showing more of like my life and stuff. Um, because I feel like I'm so bad about talking and being like, yeah, I just went to the store But I have to like actually show you guys that I went to the store <laughs> I don't know. That's just like a random thought that I just had so I'm gonna try to be really good about this move and showing you guys The details of everything and I really want to get specific about all the furniture and stuff that I have because I always get questions I always got them at school like, you know, where's your bed frame from or I Always get questions about my room at home and honestly, I didn't really do much of the decorating of this room at home So I don't really know where a lot of the stuff is from so it's just that's literally just my own error. Um, but for this next place, I'm, you know, buying all the pieces and like picking them all out. So it's m like totally on me. So I will be able to share it with you guys, which is very exciting. I am currently packing things to move. I didn't really realize how much I had in this room at home. Um, I'm still going to keep some stuff at home. Like it's not going to be totally empty, even though my apartment is more than big enough to hold all of my stuff completely. Like it's all going to fit, no problem. But with that said, I am still going to keep some stuff here at home just because I don't want to like completely clear out everything. I also do have like an attachment issue with some items. Like I just went through you know my closet I'm like I don't want to get through rid of this but I don't need to bring it with me uh, so I'm just struggling if any of you guys have tips on that I've been pretty good about like getting rid of stuff but there's some items that I just like can't get rid of so I need to get better about that but regardless um yeah I'm packing up just my suitcases because I wanted my suitcases at my apartment naturally so um just with stuff that's in my drawers like t-shirts and workout wear and stuff like that shoes and then these are just like random bins that I have you know with everyday essentials like heat tools my like toothbrush charger all that stuff I have like a facial steamer just like stuff that I've had in my closet that I'm like I can bring this like all room for it at my next place um and then this is um I don't even know like socks I bought these silicone silicone straws like reusable straws so those are coming I don't even know what else I have in here um I have these like acrylic makeup holders um, I bought this pendant for my desk. I don't know. Just random stuff. Trying to get organized. Trying to really get organized here at the piles. And then, sorry, there's like a lot of underwear and bras out and stuff. Just if you're triggered, I don't know. So, but essentially I have to plan my outfits. It's Wednesday right now and we're moving tomorrow at... We're leaving my house at like 2 p.m. So I'm actually not really moving in on Thursday. We're really just going there to sleep. Um, I do have to like set up my mattress and everything because I'm getting a wool mattress sent there. One of those like mattresses in a box. I I'm obsessed with wool. This will be my third wool mattress and I love working with them. I'm not working with them on this video. I just wanted to say. But the real like move in, move in is going to be a Friday, Saturday situation. And then my parents are going to leave Saturday night. Um, and then that is it. It's actually really just my mom and I going up on Thursday So that will be fun. My mom and I will have Thursday Friday together My dad comes up Saturday just for the day and then my mom and dad leave Saturday night and then I start my job on Monday So, um, it will be a nice like weekend of getting settled in I think I am gonna try to like socialize and go out with some people that I'll be working with and stuff at the same time Just because I want to like get used to living in Boston and um, I do have like the support of them helping me move in which will be really nice so I think I am going out tonight too with some friends at home, so I'm trying to like pick out outfits for that as well. And then trying to pick out an outfit tomorrow to wear. I have like underwear here. I think I am going out with my friends tonight at home, like one last night out, um, like while I'm still living here. So I have like outfits for that. And then um, just jeans and stuff that I might like want to wear at some point. I don't really know. And then I have some more hanging clothes here. Um, I'm actually going to take you guys downstairs now and I'll show you some of the furniture that arrived. Not all of it's here, but a good bit of it is. So we're in the downstairs of my house right now. Um, I've, I've shown it in like a million vlogs, but 
We have a um, Victorian house, so it's like decorated in like Victorian style. That's probably why you guys are like, what the heck? Um, yeah, <laughs> and it's so funny because then my furniture is like so modern, so we have a big contrast here. But we've been ordering, I say we, because I mean like my family is really helping with this move, especially my mom and my aunt. She's my godmother too, but they're so good with like home decor-y stuff and I'm really not, so shout out to them. That's why I say we, but it's really just me living there, just to be clear. Mm -mm. So I'll link down below these items, but so only two of them are like set up right now. Well, two of the items are set up and then the rest of these boxes are like my couch. Uh, I don't even know. These are curtain rods, I believe. That's my dining table. I wasn't going to have a dining table, but now since I'm living in the one bedroom and not the studio, I have room for a full like kitchen table. I mean, it's not like going to be like a huge dining table or anything, but I have room for one. So that's very exciting but it means more furniture. So these two items, I was doing, I'm doing a lot of my shopping from Wayfair. It's an online um, furniture site. I think that it's relatively inexpensive because you have to set it up yourself. So just keep that in mind. But it is like some of the most reasonably priced furniture. That I, I did a lot of digging online, you guys. I'm not really, I don't really have the budget for like the whole like West Elm thing right now. And I don't really think it's necessary because I think you could still do it on a budget and make it look nice. So this is some of the stuff I got. And I'll, I will definitely link it down below. I'll also link down below some of the other items even though they're not open yet, but just that you can poke around and see. This, I'm trying to get the best lighting I can. Okay, best lighting I can here. This is gonna be the coffee table. Um, it is like a faux marble. It's definitely wood, but it looks like it's marble. And I really wanted to like kind of stray away from the marble thing, because not that I feel like it's trendy, but it, it in my mind, I'm like, oh, like it's been overdone and stuff, and I really don't think it is. Um, I copied kind of exactly a picture that I found on Pinterest, which I can insert here, and they had a totally different table that I couldn't find, but then I was like, you know what, this is going to be like just a nice simple table to kind of introduce into the room. And I, I do like the idea of the marble. I like gold too. We're doing kind of like a white, bright living room. Um, my rug is very similar to the rug in that picture, but I'll leave the rug. The rug will be linked down below too. That's from Wayfair as well. Um, so this is that. Wayfair is actually based in Boston too, which I thought was funny. A lot of people, when I announced like where I'm working, a lot of people thought maybe Wayfair. That's random. So cool stuff here. I really like this. I believe this was also, this table was like, it's really nice quality. I think my dad set up everything while I was in Greece because he's the real MVP. Um, I have the best moving team ever. My parents, they are very efficient. And I believe this table was like less than $150, which is amazing for of like a really nice solid coffee table like that. circling to the other side these are wire chairs so I originally bought these because I saw an inspo picture that had wire chairs just like in the living room as chairs and I was like I love that I just love these wire chairs I think they're so like aesthetic and like cool and stuff then I realized that I'm moving into a one bedroom so they're even more perfect now I just ordered the set of two just so that I have like extra chairs in my apartment originally and like one would go in the living room maybe one like as a spare chair or whatever um, but then now I have a dining table, so I have like just a white round dining table, it's in the package still, but I will link the dining table down below too so you can get an idea, and then we're going to wrap it, like do four of these wire chairs around it, and these are from Wayfair, um, I think that they were like $100 a piece, I will say I sat in them, very comfy, I'm a big fan of them, and I do like the kind of brushed idea here, um, even though I guess it's, I know they're pretty similar, the metals here. I didn't really want it to be like gold gold. I wanted it to be like that brushed gold because I think it's a little less flashy and it looks, I feel like it actually makes it look more expensive with it being kind of like that brushed, but I don't know. Wire chairs are definitely my vibe. I just really like them. Now I'm actually in my garage because this is where we've been holding a lot of the other stuff that we're getting. I feel like this is kind of annoying of me doing this video because I'm essentially showing this stuff twice because you're going to see it in my move-in vlogs and stuff, but I know that the whole like apartment process is really interesting for some people. So I guess comment below if you like these videos, if you think I should just do one, but I just feel like it's more informative the more I do and like showing you guys the process, but I don't know, let me know. I, I truthfully don't know. I don't really watch many moving vlogs if I'm being honest. Underneath here we have 
furniture just so you you kind of get an idea this is furniture because you might be like oh I know that sign this is stuff from my um, college apartment um, college house whatever stuff that's been with me for a while that we moved back that is going to be my bedroom furniture so that stuff is all sticking with me like this is my desk and my dressers right there and like all this stuff is coming I have my iMac I a lot of people ask about that I still do have that I use it I use it as a monitor too um, desk chair things of that sort and then here I have to leave the door open here are acrylic chairs that I actually got for my counter so I'm gonna have my counter and my um, kitchen table which is really nice I found these on Amazon I'll link them below I love them I sat in them as well they're actually surprisingly comfy but you could always add a pillow or something in the back I think it's gonna open up the space too because I felt that like having a really stiff chair there like at the counter area would be kind of limiting um, and this is more like I just feel like since they're clear they'll open it up so they are wrapped in plastic and you did have to assemble them yourself but I think that the pack of two on Amazon was like around 150 um, apartment stuff is expensive if you guys aren't aware but that's yeah that's it I've always liked acrylic chairs too so these are actually acrylic bar stools I guess I'm not really making it clear because in my kitchen area I do have like a Bar, like a bar essentially and I ordered um, two more of these stools too so that I'll have four stools total I'm gonna have a lot of seating for one person living by herself but apparently the I haven't gotten in the apartment yet but my dad said it's big enough that like we need to fill it with stuff if any chance you're wondering um, the bed back there we are not bringing that's my full size bed from school with the full mattress from lol but I'm actually upgrading to a queen and Lowell is sending me the queen mattress directly, queen mattress and queen bed frame directly to Boston. So, yeah. This little guy, I'm going to bring to my apartment too. I got that on Amazon. Um, it's just like a little, you could use it as a stool, I guess. I used it for just like an extra little um, side table, I guess. But it's really low to the ground. I would like to set up my tripod and stuff on it. Um, it's just white and it kind of goes with the vibe that we're going with. I'm such a neutral person these days. Every time I do something like bold or in color, I hate it. So I just figured sticking with the neutrals with like a pop of color is just my vibe. Okay, so now for the stuff that we bought at HomeSense and Home Goods the other day. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with Costco. I got a TV. I got this one from TCL. You probably saw it on our cart. Um, it's a 50 inch and it was less than $300, which is a really great deal. Costco probably is the best deals on TVs, I would say. My mom was really nervous because we had never heard of this brand of TV before. And I was trying to tell her, like, I don't really think it matters. I feel like all TVs are good these days. Um, and the price difference from this brand to, like, the other brands was, like, significant. So, I mean, it still says it's 4K and everything. I actually don't watch. I don't think I'm going to buy cable. I am just going to do internet, obviously I need internet, um, but I'm not going to do cable because I don't really watch TV and if I do, I could just stream whatever news provider I want to. I could log in with my parents' cable account still and I have Netflix, Hulu, um, and then I just watch a lot of YouTube really. I don't, I haven't had a TV in my room since like middle school or something, I don't really know. I haven't had a TV in any of my college rooms because I just watch everything on my laptop. So this is going to be a game changer. It's just in the living room though. My bedroom, I'm not having a TV, so just one. Oh, this is some other stuff. Under here is the TV stand. I'll link that down below, it's from Wayfair. I was pretty anti-TV stand, if I'm being honest. I was like, I don't really want one. I just kind of want to put up the TV, but then I realized that that looks dumb. So you have to have a TV stand. And I actually do end up like, I, I do like this one. It's um, brown with like pops of white. Then here, I just got a new shower caddy thingy. Mine was like completely rusted, so I just got a new one where it will hook over the shower and like I can put my products in it so I don't have to put them on the ground. This is that rug that I was telling you about, the white one. Obviously, we're not going to unroll it until we move. Um, oh, we bought some glassware. I got martini glasses, um, just a set of four. From, this is all from Home Goods. They have the best prices on like that sort of stuff, and it's just easy to shop there so we got martini glasses and then just regular glasses glasses even though I really only drink from my hydroplask I tried to tell my mom that but she's like how could you not have you know uh, dishes and stuff like obviously I need to have the and then I ordered wine glasses online um, I ordered just a set of six like no stem so just like the literal like cup wine glasses I figured that would be efficient and I am getting a bar cart or the bar cart too um, and that is I can link that down below too. I'm also trying to keep my Amazon page up to date. Um, Amazon.com slash shop slash brookmichio if you are interested in checking that out. Might be cool. Right here we have dishes. This is just like a nice little kit. 
and it serves six even though i don't think i'll ever be having six but it's nice i can just wait i don't have to wash my stuff as soon as i eat it um it has small dishes larger dishes and then like a dinner plate so that was nice it's all just in one box and here some of the stuff is wrapped up um but we got just some dish towels like functional dish towels these little organizer thingies they're just plastic like separators basically so that you can separate your utensils um, and you don't have to put your utensils like directly in the drawer, you know. I'm so pissed because at Home Goods we found the perfect like faux plant for my living room. It had a white pot and it was so nice and like big and I love the leaves. I know that's this sounds such like an, a small detail, but if you know my inspo picture, there's a plant in it. And I'm so pissed because we left it at the counter because it was like really big and heavy. So I brought it up to the counter and said, hey, can you hold this for when we check out? And I forgot to ask for it when we checked out. So then we didn't buy it. It's probably already gone because Home Goods is kind of like they don't really, I, I don't know, it's kind of like if you, they have a unique piece, it might not be there again. And it's kind of out of the way, so I don't really want to drive there, but ugh, I'm annoyed. Anyways, next in here we have, um, they're not curtains, the, these my mom got while I was away. They're called shears, so they are just um, like window treatments, but they're not as heavy as curtains. They kind of give it like more of like a breezy, girly feel, according to what she said. My mom did buy those for me, and she bought me more... Scrub mommies, which I am obsessed with. Um, they're really good for like cleaning dishes and stuff, even though I do have a dishwasher. Good stuff. More window treatments, and then in here, wow, all of these bags are window treatments. I do have a lot of windows, and they are floor to ceiling windows, so very exciting. Then in here, we have towels. I kind of repurchase towels a lot. I've bought a lot of towels in my college days. Um, but we got more. I just got white. I feel like it's easy because you could bleach them if they get dirty. And I find that they do get dirty. So bleaching is always a nice thing to have. And then in here, I and then in here I got packs of washcloths, um, a bath mat. I, I don't know. I hope it fits. We do have the receipt for all of this if it doesn't. And you could return it anywhere. So that's good. And then we got a rug pad and this little rug for... I guess, would you call it a rug? Yeah, it says rug for the entryway. Like when you first walk in my apartment, um, I guess in lieu of a doormat, I don't really know. My mom just said that there's some sort of hallway and we needed a rug and I trust what she says. So have that. <laughs> I'm actually really excited that I have all of these hanging things. I totally forgot I have these and that'll be so helpful to hang up like little, you know, coats and things like that. And then I didn't show you guys this. Here, I didn't show you guys this. This is a side table for the couch i actually don't have a chair yet either i have a couch but i need like an accent chair some sort of like chair because like all i have is a couch right now and i have room for a chair too um but this is going to be like the side table for the living room so i really like this and it goes just with the coffee table too i mean it's perfect they like match identically so i'll link this down below as well i think that's everything in this room i know that it's not very aesthetic but we're just keeping in the garage and um, my dad's actually going to get a trailer and help me move up on Saturday. I have the best moving team ever. I straight up told my parents, I was like, I should have just hired movers and like handled it because by the time that we do all of this, like I feel so elaborate and bad making my family like go through all this effort, but they want to help me and they're really excited about this next phase of my life and like me starting my job and stuff. So I'm very, very lucky that they are being so kind with this move. So I recognize that, trust me. Um, also pretty freaking dope. My dad's been working on this for like a year and a half. And he is fixing up this car. Like, how dope is that? So I think it's, I'm so bad with cars. You guys are gonna freaking make fun of me if you know, but it's, I believe it's a 67 Chevy. And it, you should have seen it. When it first got like dropped off at the house like a year and a half ago, I was like, dad, what is this? And he has made it beautiful. It's almost ready to drive. So I am so amazed. My dad's like the best with stuff like that. It's so handy and loves doing like little side projects. And that is dope. My garage is pretty dope too. My dad's always doing like projects and stuff out here, so <laughs> big project guy. All right, I think that's everything. I think we can head inside. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Oh, I still do have like my lamp for my room. A lot of this stuff has stuck with me forever. Like that was in my freshman year dorm, that lamp. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I think it, I think the vibe that we're going for is good. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about everything. Also, I th I think I said it. My dad has been up there. He moved in a load of my stuff already. Um, like the sweet angel he is, and he wanted to check it out and do measurements and all that stuff for us. So um, we already have like my dad already has 
been there technically so when we like move in it won't be the first time someone's in the place if that makes sense but yeah it's all good like i set up the power and like the renter's insurance and everything like i'm i'm technically already moved in so it feels really good i already made my first like rent payment so this is what is this what adults like because i think it is <laughs> so crazy Happy moving day, you guys. Ah, okay, we have a lot to do in a very little amount of time. It's nine o'clock, I just woke up. Uh, well, wait, what time is it right now? 9.40, I gotta move. Um, woke up and after going out last night with surprisingly a lot of energy, so let's get it. I'm probably gonna crash hard, but it's okay. Um, I have to go to Target to get a lot of things. That's today's mission. We are gonna wait to go to Target until we get up there, but there's just certain things that I definitely need um, to have tonight. I need more like storage bins, like these kind of um, boxes and crates sort of things to move like products, like products from my shower and stuff like that. And I'll be able to use them in my closets and stuff too to organize. And um, sadly, the mattress isn't getting delivered until tomorrow. So I'm gonna pick up an air mattress for my mom and I to sleep on tonight. She was like, we have like a twin one and like someone could sleep on the floor. And I was like, no, like I'm gonna go pick up an air mattress for us and some cleaning supplies so we can like clean down the place before we, you know, start putting things in drawers and whatnot. And uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's my list, but of course Target always gets me. And I'm gonna go to Starbucks on the way, get a nice coffee, get my boost for the day and Woo, I'm hype, you guys. I have a lot to do still, so let's go. Plan is to be back here in probably like a little over an hour. I feel like that's a reasonable goal. And then I'm all good. I feel like I have to bring my big obnoxious sunglasses too, so. And my hydro flask, cheers. Just walked downstairs. I wanted to show you guys just the updates on things. Um, more clothes I'm bringing. Um, this is my Buffy comforter, actually. And this is a chair um, that I've had in my room for forever. It's from PBT and I love it. And that's coming with me. And this is the dining table. It's still like in its packaging, but I can kind of show you guys the material. I am freaking obsessed with it, you guys. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like acrylic-y kind of, but not like the acrylic of the chairs, the bar stool chairs, I don't know. I think we have a pretty rainy day, but that is okay. One last Starbucks run on Long Island. Let's get. Hi, can I please get a grande cold brew, just black, and Anything then else? and then an order of the egg white bites? Anything else? That's it. Thanks. You got it. Eight eighty. Thank you. Happy moving day. Woo! It's kind of raining. I'm hoping there's some drier carts. It's ten twenty-four. I definitely want one with a pump built in because otherwise like, I have to buy it separate. But I don't know which one I want. Ugh, so many choices. But if I need a queen, this one has a pump. I feel like this one's fine. I need cleaning supplies, laundry stuff, and bins. Let's go. We have bins. It's literally only families today here in Target. But I got these two smaller bins and then these two big ones. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, you guys, we have the full spread people are watching me talk to myself <laughs> um so i got these bins i got two of them i figured they're good for my closet i got two of these bins so i didn't need to use bags so even though there's plenty of plastic in this order okay i got this air mattress which was quite costly but hopefully i'll have people visiting me that will actually make good purpose of me using that <laughs> we got the snacks for the ride um i've been really into turkey steaks, I don't know why, but that's been like a thing, so. And then other things, like you don't realize, you know, toilet paper and then dish soap and freaking Tide Pods and stuff like that, so. Bye house, this is so crazy. Alrighty, we're leaving. We'll get up there, bro. Well, I'm gonna quit. Oh God. oh God, another round of freaking tears. <laughs> another ugly cry. Oh, girl. Uh, 
It's honestly just saying goodbye to Sal that's hard because it's like. Mm. <laughs> I just won't be close. Oh. Yeah, but he'll visit you and you'll have fun because you'll be in your apartment. Another moving vlog featuring me crying because. But no, I never thought, like, I feel like even when I left for college, I didn't even cry this much. You didn't cry. <laughs> well, you cried maybe a little bit when we hugged you, but. Yeah. You didn't cry saying goodbye to your brother or anything, really. I just, it's just sad because it's like, I just feel like with growing up and stuff, you, <laughs> like, you just see, you just see people a lot, like, less. So I'm just stressed because I just feel like I won't see my brother as much as I want to. <laughs> Because I don't want it to be just like a twice a year thing. Like, <laughs> obviously, it, like it doesn't matter where I lived. Like, it probably would be. I guess if I was in New York, it would be different. But I chose this, so I can't really be too upset. I feel like because I didn't have to do this. But <laughs> Brooke, this is growing up. It's not. I know. You know I know. It's just hard. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we are getting super close. We're like 30 minutes away. Uh, yeah, we're 30 minutes away, and uh, I'm feeling better now. I got my cries out. I wasn't expecting to get that emotional. Look, that's the Duncan headquarters. Wow. So we're 30 minutes away. Uh, this vlog has been so random. I didn't even really show you guys my car packed up. So, well, I don't do the packing of the car. My dad does that. So. Plus, this is just one of the cars. Daddy took a whole separate load. Separate load last yeah. week, and then he's got a trailer coming on Saturday. Yeah. So we have a lot of content, but if you're new to my channel and you made it through to the end of the video, <laughs> subscribe. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. This is a brutal one. <laughs> it had to be at least 30 minutes, no joke. Uh, and I think I'm literally about to like end this vlog and like basically continue with the next one. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys all in a little bit. Bye.